Hello once again and welcome to our series on jump syllabus. Okay, and today we're looking at this jump syllabus for principles of account. Principles of account. So if you picked uh, principles of account as part of your subject combination, uh, the jump syllabus for principles of account will serve as a guide in preparation for your examination. Okay, don't forget that this series is brought to you by the O3 School Jump Security Practice app. The app is for students who have decided to pass their exam at once. Okay, if you have decided that this is your exam, is the last jam we are going to write, the last ever jam we are going to write in this world before you enter into university, you know, of course, please get the application. The app has all the past questions you need for your exam for all the subjects in one application. As a classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus, as one type feature like the question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics. Also has the mock UTML challenge every Saturday, a challenge where every student who is writing jam for this year comes to the app to challenge each other by competing to win amazing prizes every Saturday, but also get us to jam past questions, get us to jam likely exam questions, familiarize themselves with how jam set that question, and you see your score release every Saturday, thereby cementing your preparation for the examination. Okay, so the app is totally meant to put you in a competitive mode till the exam, thereby making your brain very fresh and active. All right. So if you want to be, you want to have an active brain, you want to have active preparation, jump on the application, download it from Play Store, or if you want to download for your computer system at home or your laptops, okay, the app is also available. Just simply send a message to 0912151526 on WhatsApp. And do not forget to activate the application, all right? Do not be stingy. This is your future, all right? Activate it, start immediately. So let us see the syllabus for principles of account and of course uh, the general objectives of the syllabus for uh, principles of account is to prepare the students of course for the board's examination and it's designed to test their achievement of the course objectives which are to stimulate and sustain their interest in principles of account all right to use the basic knowledge of and practical skills in accounting to apply the knowledge and interpretations of accounting information to decision making to determine the relevance of accounting information to business and government, to use information and communication technology for present and future challenges. Also to use current accounting principles in financial reporting. So uh, let us see the detailed syllabus. And uh, before we see the detailed syllabus, know that in principles of accounts, you have a total of 18 topics, 18 topics. Okay, in total, that means that you are you can finish your full syllabus, okay, within a month, all right, and start again. And before you, you beat your chest and say I'm fully prepared for the jam examination, you must have gone through your jam syllabus at least three times. Okay, at least three times you must have gone it for each of the subjects. Okay, so if you are choosing principles of account, you must have gone through the syllabus three times, read the full topics, answer question again and again and again, rinse and repeat before you say you beat yourself and say you are ready. That is why we usually stress the importance of starting early. Start early. But if you say it's, a, it's one month to exam, you want to start preparing for an exam. It doesn't work that way. Please start early so that you can make the most of it. So let us see the first topic here, which is nature and significance of accounting. And of course, here under this, look at development of accounting, including branches of accounting. We look at objectives of bookkeeping and accounting. We look at users and characteristics of accounting information. We look at principles, concepts, and conventions of accounting. We look at the role of accounting records and information. Second topic here is principles of double entry. We look at functions of source documents, books of original entry, accounting equation, the ledger and its classification, trial balance. Types and treatment of errors and uses of suspense accounts. Third topic here is ethics in accounting. Look at objectives, look at qualities of an accountant. Then the fourth topic here is cash book. Okay, look at columnar cash books, we'll look at discounts, look at petty cash book and impress system. The fifth topic here is bank transactions and reconciliation statements. All right, under this, look at instruments of bank transactions. Look at e-banking system. Look at causes of discrepancies between cash book and bank statements. And look at bank reconciliation statements. See, the sixth topic here is the final accounts of a sole trader. The final accounts of a sole trader. Look at income statements, trading and profits and loss accounts. Look at statements of financial position, balance sheet. Look at adjustments. Under adjustments, we see provision for bear, for bad and doubtful debt. See provision for discounts. Provision for depreciation using straight line and reducing balance methods. You see accruals and prepayments. 
Then we'll see seventh topic is stock valuation. On that is look at methods of cost determination using FIFO, LIFO, and simple average. Then we'll see the advantages and disadvantages of the methods. Then we'll look at the importance of stock valuation. The eighth topic here is control accounts and safe balancing ledgers. And that is look at importance of control accounts, look at purchases ledger control account, look at sales ledger control account. Ninth topic here is incomplete records and single entry. And that is the conversion of single entry to double entry, determination of missing figures, preparation of final accounts for incomplete records. Tenth topic here is manufacturing accounts. Under this, we see cost classification, we see cost apportionment, then we see preparation of manufacturing accounts. Eleventh topic here is accounts of not for profit making organizations. Accounts of not for profit making organizations. Under this, we see objectives of not for profit making organizations. We see receipts and payment accounts. We see income and expenditure accounts, and we see statement of final or statement of financial position. Twelfth topic here is departmental accounts. We see objectives, apportionments of expenses, departmental trading and profit and loss accounts. Thirteenth topic here is branch accounts. And we see objectives, branch accounts in the head office books, head office accounts, and then we see reconciliation of branch and head office books. Fourteenth topic here is joint venture accounts. Under this, we see objectives, we see personal accounts of venturers. Then we see memorandum joint ventures accounts. 15th topic here is partnership account. So we see formation of partnership, profit and loss account, appropriation account, partners, current and capital account, treatment of goodwill, admission or retirement of a partner, dissolution of partnership, conversion of a partnership to a company. Then 16th topic is introduction to company accounts. We see formation and classification of companies. We see issues of shares and debentures. We see final accounts of companies. We see interpretation of account using ratios. We see distinction between capital and revenue reserves. 17th topic is public sector accounting. On that is we see comparison of cash and accrual and accrual basis of accounting. We see sources of government revenue. We see capital and recurrent expenditure. We see consolidated revenue fund. We see statement of assets and liabilities. We see responsibilities and powers of the accountant general, the auditor general, the minister of finance, the treasurer of local government, instrument of financial regulation. 18 topic is information technology in accounting. Under this, you see manual and computerized accounting processing system. Then B, you see processes involved in data processing. C, you see computer hardware and software. D, you see advantages and disadvantages of manual and computerized accounting processing system. All right, that will take us to the recommended test. Okay, so by the way, if you have the O3 School Jump app, we have a classroom that has lecture notes on this syllabus. Okay, so you don't need to go and get any textbook once you have the application activated on your phone. All right, but by the way, if you have any government test or sorry, any financial principles of account textbook, anyone, anyone that you have is okay. Okay, you can use it. But in case you want to get any of these, we have some that have been listed here among the recommended tests. Can kindly pause this video and look at them one after the other and see whether you have anyone if you don't have anyone and you want to get you can get anyone from each of all these okay you see modern financial accounting you see uh, uh get your financial accounting right you see get your financial accounting right, book two also you see basic accounting you see a guide to government accounting and internal audit foundation of business accounting Contemporary Accounting, Abuja, Principles of Account 1 and 2, Simplified and Amplified Financial Accounting. Okay, so, and the likes. All right, so please, uh, don't forget to download the app. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Share it to your friends. Share it to your WhatsApp group. Share it to your, to, in fact, keep sharing it, all right, so that other students can also benefit from this. My name is Masati, and I'm the Grand Commander of the O3 Schools, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me.